Game Dev, Game Dev Journey. Hey everyone, it's Rob here from Game Dev Journey. Welcome to episode 4 of my series promoting the Godot game engine and where you can learn how to use it. Godot version 4 is on the horizon and now is a great time to start learning how to use the engine. I'm really excited to share this week's tutorial makers with you because I had never come across them before and they really are quite amazing. I guess that too often we get stuck making the big channels bigger because those are the ones which YouTube is recommending to us and so some really incredible channels tend to be missed. Please go and visit each and every one of these channels because they are so deserving of your support for the high quality content which they are producing and the intense effort it takes to create and package that content for you. Please like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to support me to continue this series. The first tutorial channel is Game Development Center. Really, it should be rebranded as the Godot Game Development Center because it focuses exclusively on the Godot game engine. The tutorials here get straight to the point. Each step is carefully explained and you are encouraged to express your creativity throughout. The concept behind the channel is that many of us have had the desire to make a game. A lot of us have a good game idea. But making a game is a long haul that takes time and discipline. For the majority of us, it requires a whole new skill set to be developed as well. On this channel, Stefan will give you the tools to help you make your dream game and bring your idea to life. Here you can learn about game theory, project management and game development. Stefan is an excellent teacher and you will learn a lot and have fun doing it too. Another fantastic channel is that of Godot Tutorials. With a straightforward name like that, I just do not know how I haven't found it before. Possibly because most of us are searching for a very specific term related to the current problem we're trying to solve. With that in mind, this channel is an excellent, broad and general introduction to Godot, programming and game design. The overview you get here will establish all of your first principles and will give you a firm foundation upon which to build your knowledge. Just be aware going in there that there are no specific game type tutorials here. You won't learn how to make a platformer or metroidvania step by step. Instead, you will discover a more academic, rigorous and theory focused channel which will prepare you well for success in the next level. Runjan is a channel which you should definitely bookmark. He creates crazy tutorials on a range of interesting things specifically for Godot, such as how to create moving lasers and blood effects and all sorts of gruesome player death stuff. Maybe you've been wondering how to implement a night and day cycle or how to grow plants accurately in your farming sim. Maybe you've been looking for that one tutorial which finally explains the state machine just right. What about implementing portals in your game? Runjan's got you covered. If you want to learn how to incorporate exciting and engaging new features in your game, then Runjan is the channel to visit. Martin Donald is a technical artist and game developer. He likes to make games, tech demos and fun tutorials. Martin is a professional and his tutorials are quite advanced, although they are explained very well. Because of his high level of professional skill and experience, he's able to demonstrate things that you just won't have seen before, such as how to make a snowball create a trail through the snow. If you want to see what's possible in the Godot engine with the right knowledge and skills, then you will not be disappointed with Martin Donald's channel. Wrapping us up today is Angega Studios, an indie game developer still trying to make his way in this world, and what better way to do it than by helping others. He posts regularly and has excellent guided tutorials for making a space shooter, a platform game, as well as a Flappy Bird clone. Currently, he's starting a new game project with his sister, and they are right at the start of creating the assets, so why not join in and learn and make right alongside them? Interest in Godot is booming right now, and there really is no better time to start learning and creating. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.